shift you f Well, g'day everybody and welcome back. We're back in the garage um, on Henry, the CB450. And I've got a bit of an issue with my selector, um, my gear selector. Now, the, on the Honda CBs, run from uh, the left-hand side, they have a shaft coming through the engine to the opposite side, the clutch side, where the um, selected drum mechanism is. And I suspect that that's where the problem is. I'm hoping for an easy fix. So one of the, one of the things that we're going to have to do is get this side cover off, which means that I've got to get all this crap off that's in the way. Exhaust, foot peg, kickstart. Hopefully I can just work it around the brake lever. But the first job is to drain the oil. Next job, kick start, exhaust and foot peg. Starting with the kick start. It was never going to be that easy, was it? Finger tight, that shouldn't be finger tight. Back on. Right, foot peg. And a fourteen millimeter. So we don't lose the bowl, the nuts, or the bolts, or washers. I like to put them back where they came from. So now we can kind of see a bit better what we're looking at. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. Um, I'm hoping, like hell, that this gasket hasn't been glued on, and if it has, it hasn't been double glued on. But we shall find out momentarily. I'll just drag this over here because there is a chance that oil will drip. Now, first thing, get the right tool for the job. And the right tool for the job is a number two JIS screwdriver. I've harped on enough about them. I'm not going to harp any further. I think this cover just accesses the oil filter, so I'm going to leave it there. Good, they're not that tight. Thank you, Jim. If you remember, uh, back when I was building basket case, 
I didn't have enough room in the shed because I had excess 1100 everywhere and um, I needed to get this engine refreshed. So I, I lobbed it at a guy down at Margate and he did the job for me. Another good way of not losing your screws is the, the old magnetic tray. I'm just checking as I go too that all these screws are the same size because if there's an odd one in there we need to remember where it came from. But I've not had this apart so. So far they all look the same. Break out the old plastic hammer and just tap a tap 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 a tap. I think I've been watching too much AVE. <laughs> Wouldn't that rip the fork out of your 90? Brake lever's got to go out of the way. But what I'm thinking, because I know what a nightmare it is to connect all that switch and everything there, but I might be able to just release it at the rear brake and adjust it back up later and swing it down out of the way. Let's try that. I'd call that a success. Oh, and we saved the gasket. Outstanding. Look how clean that is. Brilliant. So right in here is where we need to get behind the clutch basket. And they've conveniently put that in a shit location. So this oil filter doohickey's got to come off. Mm. Oil filter's got to come off, clutch has got to come off, then hopefully we can uh, see what makes it chooch, and oh, I have been listening to AVE. <laughs> oh, who cares? You got, that's going to happen, isn't it, if you, if you watch someone long enough? Um, yep, we'll see what makes it chooch, and then we will um, see what we need to do to correct the issue. <laughs> right, let's get this oil filter off. I tell you, the lengths I go to... Setting up all these cameras to bring it all to you. Now I'm supposed to be able to put a... Ah, well look at that. M8 was supposed to be the size of the thread in there, unless it's a CB500, which is a 6mm thread, and that is a 6mm thread. Mind you, that's according to Climber, and I'm not that convinced that Climber always know what they're talking about. Definitely M6. Okay. Little O-ring on the outside of him. And now I can see the nut in there. We've got to get that guy off. It's got a tab washer on it. I'll bend the tab out of the way and see if, uh, see if the spanner that I got off Richard fits. Tap, tap, tap. See if this will fit. Hmm. It's a little bit dodgerified, but I think it I think it'll work. Jesus, it's got a 32 millimeter only 32 millimeter socket. It's just a bit of aluminium soft jaw around my vice. You can use if you've got copper coins where you live, just poke a penny in there. I'm hoping that that'll be enough. Yes. Enough. Off you Jesus thing. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. Oh! And he drops it in the oil. Uh, 
is a spring loaded washer and the tab washer. And that needs a bit of a wipe. Lucky it's a, it, get, it runs in oil, so it doesn't really matter, but okay, that's why it's so hard to get off. It's got a spline on it. It fits on the end of that shaft and it's pretty tight. Righto. Rotary ho, next job, get this clutch apart. The perennial favourite of the Japanese motorcycle mechanics, the old 10 mil. Now, what you want to do here is just do these diagonally opposite until all the, all the spring loads off them. Now, all speed brace, mind you. There's no speed holes in it, so I don't understand why it's a speed brace. Now, in the absence of wise decision making, I nearly dropped those. Why don't I slide that back out of the way? We don't need it at the moment. So this should just all separate. That's the pressure plate. Oh, look how clean everything is. Jimbo and Adrian, good work. Okay, now all the pressure plates and friction plates. Oh, I might even try and slip all of that off in one piece. Nice work if you can get it. Et voila. All right, so there is uh, a circlip in there. And uh, that should then just come off the spline. Uh, nothing like a bit of end float. Oh, I need the circlip pliers what, for opening in the opposite direction to the ones I've already got. Et voila. Gentle, gentle. See if there's anything on there that should... I should be aware of. Nope, all good. Now, next bit, I'll tell you what, there's nothing more skookum than a Honda, but the oil pump, which is down here, and this is the pickup, obviously, which makes really useful for left-hand corners when you've got low oil in your sump. Um, that pump and that basket need to come off together. So I'm need to bend these tabs out of the way, remove these two bolts and uh, then slide the whole assembly off. Tap. Tappy tap tap. Stupid brake pedal. Oh. Nice little bronze bushes in there. Very nice. Okay, now we can sort of see what the heck's going on here. But I think I need another pair of hands to operate the other side I've got to say you know how you, you you know you take your car or your bike or whatever to someone to be serviced uh, and you haven't done it yourself you don't know what's going on in there I can tell you I'm pretty happy and with uh, the work from anti social engineering they have um, you know this engine is clean and everything's been put together properly so thumbs up not so anti social after all Rotary ho, we're back from the intermission and in the absence of, I guess, uh, 
right now it's um, I'm on annual leave and uh, most people have come gone back to work so in the absence of uh, having anyone being able to come and give me some assistance off camera I was having a fiddle and uh, it would appear that everything is okay so there's no there's no wear or pins broken or nothing's loose which is what I was hoping for, something simple. And in the spirit of what is probably undiagnosed ADHD, uh, I saw something shiny and took off, and uh, I'm just getting back to it now. But um, I think that the problems are deeper. I don't think it's... It's, it's nothing external here. Uh, what I was able to do, though, was to be able to get it to function through all of the gears. Uh, I shall attempt to show. So that's first, neutral, it's hard, right, second, third, fourth, fifth, fourth, third, second, no, neutral, no, second, neutral, first, now yeah, it's just awkward, I haven't, uh, I believe that it'll uh, be okay. So what what I have done is um, just taken a bit of the end float out of this by fitting. Uh, there's supposed to be supposed to be a washer and a circlip located on the on the gear lever selector shaft on the other side, and there wasn't one there. And there's no circlip groove there that I can see. Uh, so I've shimmed it with a couple of washers. Um, and well you know if there's I'm going to put it all back together again and um, put oil in it and try it and the reality is that if I continue to have problems I think that it's either a worn or bent selector fork or something deeper in the gearbox but for now I'm just going to chuck it back together Tap, tap.
Then I said about long ones and short ones. That was a long one. So now I just need to put some oil in it and we can give it a go. And that'll do us. Right. Radio, road test. First. Second, third, and that's where it ended before. Fourth, come on, girl. Fifth, there you go. We've got all five back. Now, I don't really know what I did uh, other than to take a bit of inflow out of the, the shaft that runs through the transmission just sort of determined that it may have no, there's obviously some wear inside the transmission on the shift forks and uh, it may just have got itself a bit fouled up but no matter how hard I tried I couldn't get it to go into third gear uh, sorry into fourth gear or fifth gear so result I guess for now um, if I continue to have more problems I'll um, be forced to uh, have another look and by the way I've already been up and down the road about five times so I know it works um, that's it for now thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment and I'll catch you next time on Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions bye for now